so I'm reloading the last checkpoint. I kind of broke the game a little. So, welcome back. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even <laughs> save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Okay. Give him money, get the code. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder. Signpost, beach ball, right around here, I believe. of the whale. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Oh, geez. You can already see the yeah, blood, though. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Give the money. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, hmm. if you excuse me. Frank, could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. <laughs> no, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy Too boys bad you want? Can't, like, fast Just the names forward. of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, oh is that all? Well, why didn't, why you, didn't just you, tell you just me? tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? I'm sorry? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, okay. we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I'm confused. I, I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I, I try not to. 
and I never would have pulled the trigger. Wait, so you I have to just... let it happen? Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. Okay. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Oh, jeez. Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get ah. now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh-oh. Um... Rachel's letter... I don't... I don't need to press him on what he's hiding. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all mm. that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. There we go. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Well, we wanted the code thing, but we got the client list. Hmm. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Oh, is that the code? Okay. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Okay, perfect. And we got exactly what we came here for. No need to, like, rewind or anything. Because no need to have Chloe shoot. Uh, leave the beach? I think so, because I'm pretty sure we got all the things that we were going to get from here anyways. Different, like, signposts and stuff. It won't let, it won't even let me do it. I think. Yeah, it doesn't let you do anything at this point. Because you've already. Yep. Past the point of no return. Okay, good to know. Okay. Alright, let's leave the beach, Chloe. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank, what do you want? Hi, Max. Just wanted to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank, for getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you want, both want a party and good luck. Um, thanks, Frank, but, um, no need to party. 
Gather info on a character by selecting all of the correct clues for each section. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. Account book. And one of the papers. I just don't know which paper. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Rot. Huh. Oh, these are kinds of dogs that they have. Okay. I So I basically just got, like, super lucky last time by selecting huh. random ones. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party God. supplies, no doubt. Two ounces of fire, bud. Five grams of speed, five grams of cocaine. And then... What's that? Blackwell. And then at the boondocks, GHB. Oh! There you go. That's one of the clues. So... The bottom left. Oh, hey. Frank's clues. Biscuit, please. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Huh. Um. Okay, so so Nathan is one of the people I have to look for, and I guess that's it. Um, yeah. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Wow. Nathan bought GHB on the 30th. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Huh. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Yikes. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Molly. Weed. Two sheets. I don't know what sheets is. And I don't know what skidoo acid is. But cocaine. Holy drugs, Batman. We bought three things of drugs that day, boy. So I'm selecting that one. Look. Look. Select. Nothing that day. Well, no, the GHB. I think. So it's either that one or this one. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's 
hit Max. Okay. So Nathan's clues. Thanks to oh, David's geez. own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay, Kate's picture. Let's look. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Kate Marsh, she knows something. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. <laughs> Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex party. Not even church. Drugs? She got upset and ran. Guilty? Dumbass. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I mean, that might be something to select, I'm not sure. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I mean, maybe, but there's two of the almost same exact truck. And then the older truck. Perhaps. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Placement of cameras. Hmm. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Uh, hmm. That's Warren's car, and that truck is Nathan's truck. So one of those truck pictures is probably one to select. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. <laughs> Sorry. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just Paranoid about everybody. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel avoids her dorm. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Illegal pharmaceuticals. Oh yeah, okay, so. Something. Select. 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 Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Oh man, okay. Well, at least I don't. Thanks screw to David's it up own completely. investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Hmm. So it's not. So coordinates and map, maybe Nathan's pictures? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Oh, did I not select? Oh, I selected those. Yeah. Wait, I selected those. It didn't do anything though. Hmm. Damn. I, I 
I must have missed something. I did miss something. So. Oh. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I thought I knew which Thanks clues. Thanks to David's to only choose, investigation, but... I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spy the us. And that's all she wrote. There we go. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Oh my goodness. It's being Great. a pain in the now, butt. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just <laughs> this once. Just this once. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Probably that one, but I don't know. That's definitely Chloe's car. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? So that one? Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating. It's not as an usual. SUV, though, but okay. So. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Coordinates. So, select this. Select this. And then yep. I don't know. Another car David was tracking. Hmm. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? This is T W L G H. No. Nope. Why the hell are you following these people? Yep. This one. And to where? Boom. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try what? again. No way. Okay. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Looks like this is not relevant at all. So select this. Select that. Nathan's would be TPFT. So whatever TPFT. No. No. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Okay, mm. so select this and then select this one. This? I don't okay. know. Nathan's tail light is busted, and I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. License plate is busted, right? Okay. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Oh, okay. If it's busted, there's this. It's the... I think this one. That one, yep. And this one, or These something else? These are not related. Deselect. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Oh yes, there. now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, 
Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Oh, goodness. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. Okay, we'll have some dots connected. I have those dots and those dots. Nathan's clues. Holy crap, that's way down here. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? That flyer? I do believe that is a drawing from Twin Peaks. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Nathan Joshua Prescott. Parents, city of birth, birthday, work number, cell number, GPA. No, that's going to be it. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Hmm. Photo. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. SIM card. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Make sure to change it. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. So, your first intuition would be, hey, it's the circled number, right? Nine, five, three, five. Okay. Oh, meaning I haven't found it yet, oh, I guess. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Okay, so let's just select four things. So the phone, SIM card, it's not really going to help. The flyer is not going to help. This drawing will. And the student file. No. No? This is not working. Student file, the phone, the SIM card, I guess all the stuff on the bottom. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. Okay, Max. Boom. Let's blow this code up and go home. I don't want to have to sit there and input, like, every single friggin' thing. Wow. I'll kill your scholarship. Okay, I don't care. Let's start hacking. Paper. Oh, oh, five, eight. What does this have to do with the student file? You know, the number that's on there a couple of times is zero one nine eight. It's on here too, wasn't it? No, it's not. Just kidding. Huh. All right, we'll try. Oops. 
bad code. Okay. Seven oh six three. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Um, 7063 is entered twice. Okay, 1010. 8, you 6, locked 0, it, dumbass. Uh, oh. Okay. Enter the that thing. Oh crap. Okay. Eight seven eight. Nine seven eight. Oh eight. I'm gonna have to write that down <laughs> so I can remember. So it is. Welcome back. Eight seven eight nine seven eight zero oh, eight. That's okay. Funny enough, I'm gonna send it. This is the code for the game. <laughs> Here. Because if you look at it, it looks like it could be a phone number. And thank you, farting aunt. Alright. Let's find out what Nathan oh, Prescott right. has been trying to hide. Okay. Holy cow, wait, what? Need the G. Okay, cool. You sold me water. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it, sing away, pigs on the beach. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? Huh. 2.53 AM. You up, bro? You're out of control. Calm your, <laughs> calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon, hook a brother up, please. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. I know where you sleep. Okay, so um. Pretty much the bulk of the night has been um, looking around Blackwell, trying to figure out what's going on with Nathan. Uh, we saw Kate at the hospital. Pretty much tried to figure out what was going on with Nathan. Um, just uh, um, at some point in time, went through uh, Chloe's house, got some clues from... David's locker, um, and went through clues here at Chloe's house again, because David's not around now. So, been going through David's clues, Nathan's clues, Chloe's clues, Rachel's clues, 
all the clues. Blue's clues. <laughs> so pretty much trying to put all of the clues together to basically build up a solid case against Nathan Prescott to either call the cops on him or to call the cops on him and find Rachel Amber because she's probably hidden somewhere by Nathan Prescott. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Huh. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. So we have all these clues that we deciphered from various piles of clues. So now it's basically time to put it all together and create, I guess, a story. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So you have all these things to choose from, right? And I can only pick three. See, the vortex, like, I mean, I can screw up a few times. Paul will give you exact directions because he doesn't give him an address, he gives him directions. So maybe that's one, but I'm not sure. You home got to party tonight. Load the bowl. Need the G. So this infamous party was the fourth. Okay, so this is, it says boondocks. To me, I would say that that means middle of nowhere. GHB, GHB. Those are my biggest ones, right? Those are the biggest clues. Molly and weed. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. <laughs> okay, so... Boondocks. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Could mean there. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Hmm. No yes. doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Yeah, probably one of the locations, so there's that. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Huh. Poor rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. The more you know. So, boondocks. Looks like the middle of nowhere. And then I think it's what this one? I'll give you exact directions. Chloe, 
This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on mm. this. Hold on. I realize it's a barn. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. <laughs> we can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Oh boy. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Holy shit, uh, this is scary. Creepy. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. It almost looks like there's already someone inside. Oh man, it's gonna be scary. There's a squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Hi, hi, Warren. Sheet. Move. Oh boy. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, it's already creepy. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. I have Super goosebumps Max. too. And there's pictures on the wall. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. Huh. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Uh. Oh, it's so creepy. Yes, old like Prescott clippings. Things. But that can't be the only thing. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Uh. I don't like it at all. It's gonna be creepy. This tractor has paid its dues. Uh, I guess I'm gonna search this. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. I can't read that. I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts 
may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hill. Kindest regards. Somebody L. Pres Martin Lewis Prescott. Okay. Tracks on this side. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wait, what'd you say? Photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Home, home on the range. Where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. I don't really want to touch it, so. Fork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Ha! <laughs> oh god, I don't... Here's a... A hook? Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Huh. Oh. Okay. Probably gonna have to end up like moving rope. Ground search. <sighs> Nothing here. Weird. All right. Ground search. Just rotting wood. Huh. Hey, Zach. Search? So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna have to start looking outside here soon. Damn. Lots of info here. Okay. Wait, what? Crate. And search. Um. Hmm. Maybe you can approach this way. Boring. No, hey, ground. Did I search this ground? I don't know. <sighs> Nothing here. Can I get out this door? No, probably not. But you can kind of see through to the other side a little. Outside I go then. Leave. Weird, okay. So, I'm leaving her in there while I search out here. Is that how this goes? God, that's so creepy. scarier out here because there's no Chloe with me. Hi, bird. Huh. Is that the house? 
this over there. Watson, we can <laughs> safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. <laughs> okay, well. This is no trespassing. Watch us. Oh, there's a beer nearby. Ooh, electric unit. No. Why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty bar? Right? Unless we're gonna have a party here at some point. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? She's like, boring, boring, boring. Can I go here and do something with this pole? Nope, I don't want to go there. That's too far. Okay. Old, old. Boring, boring. Yes, I understand. I guess I had to see the electricity. Seriously, feel like someone's gonna. Ooh, crate. Huh. Ah, the good old days. Eggs, 16 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Sugar? Or what is that? I don't know. Coffee? One dollar! Uh, that kind of looks like that says cocaine, but I'm not sure if that's what that is. Tobacco and milk. Damn, lots of info here. There's lots of info there, but, okay, still can't push the button. Boring, boring. What am I missing? be something I'm missing here. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. I'm... I'm in here. I'm scoping things out in here. I see a light back there. Maybe. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Sugar. Hmm. I guess I'll have to go back outside, but search. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Oh. oh, there it is. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Oh, buddy. Okay. I'm scared. 
I'm scared to know what's in there. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. With the pitchfork, maybe. Old. Old. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Of info here. Platform. Climb? Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Uh oh. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Oh boy. So I have to get to the rope that's somewhere up here. Pull. <laughs> okay. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Climb. Well, okay, I'm not going to pull just yet. I want to see if maybe there's something else up here. Do not fall. Okay, well, there's nothing, nothing else to pull up here. So either I pulled that one, I think, is what it's saying, actually. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Tell me if you need any help. I do, I need something heavy. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. But sure, let's take a picture of it. Huh. Hello, owl. The owls have eyes. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Yikes. Max Giver strikes again. Okay, can I get down now? <laughs> it's scary up here. Yeah, yes, please. This this way. I want to get down now, please. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Here's the thing. Where are you at? You're over here. Chloe, I found the thing. I need you to come with me. I'm scared. I don't want to open this by myself. What if there are, in fact, zombies in here? Damn, this is heavy. Whoa. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? 
Take pictures. You, you need evidence. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Uh, Chloe. I have to follow you. Uh, creepy. This bunker is so surreal. Security door. Look. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. A code? Really? Huh. First a padlock, then a digi code? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Wait. First a padlock, then One, a digi code? One, four, five. Someone really doesn't want visitors. First a padlock, then a digi code. You know what I mean? One. Someone or really two, doesn't four, want five. visitors. Two four five is. Here, let me try two four five. Two. Four. Five. Oh, think, think. Five, four, two. Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Because it was the red number on one of the postcard things. Open sesame. Boom. There's... Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. But Come also, on. Rachel Amber's gotta be in here too. Okay, look at all this food. Now what? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Is this David's secret hideout? Huh. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist, for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as I have disre disregarded my dire and immediate suggestion for his and others, as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestion for his and others' well-being, you know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more connected, disconnected. He is becoming more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best. Dr. Jacoby. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Okay, what else? Anything on the ceiling? The lights? The curtains? Uh, I'm basically dena denying the inevitable. Delaying I guess the Nathan inevitable. Needs the most expensive printer in the world. Yikes. And then this is. This is Jesus, Nathan's dark room. Place. Okay. Huh. That son of a bitch. What? Pictures, just like in his room. Talk about tortured. He likes torturing people. Everything is sketchy as fuck. Nothing about Rachel here. Damn. Okay. Whoa. Okay, note. Look. Whoa. 
What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I give you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. Let's see what's in here. Oh, jeez. It's Kate. Oh, my God. No. Okay. So, it's Kate. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Hell. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Cupboard. Search. Oh, geez. Look at all these names he has Kate, Rachel, Kelly. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Jesus. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my God. Rachel, Kate, all these vile. Meaning This what? picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out. And she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Who's the other person, though? Yeah, I mean, she's got to be, like, passed out in that. There's got to be more here. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. There's gotta be something else here as well. Like, that can't have been... I've like, never seen so much pricey equipment before. Why? How does that make you money in any way, shape, or form? Like, seriously. So who's using this fancy tripod? Like, posing them in pictures that makes it look like they're dead. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. <laughs> so... Somebody likes their whiskey. Unless they're trying to... S unless they own the newspaper. This must be the craft that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Okay, well that's that's all we really need to see from in here. Go to the junkyard. Holy 
Guys, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Oh, jeez. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? Oh, jeez. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. tell if they're different what is that jesus moved. chloe look up at the sky whoa Beautiful. i don't give a shit the world is ending cool you're not listening something major is going down that's right nathan prescott is going down oh so they're not high welcome to the end of the world ladies i'm glad you decided to escort me you look really good warren are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, Obviously. if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, <laughs> so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. 
I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. <laughs> not to me, Warren. Text soon. I know how to be invisible here. <sighs> Can I take your coat or anything? Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always... Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? <laughs> he should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. <laughs> the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I notice they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess hmm. I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not <laughs> a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thanks. I need to talk to her again. I just need to enter. Okay, thanks. It's a pool party. Okay, so it's a high school party. And there's alcohol and drugs. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's a high school party. Party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Huh. So, why are you here? <laughs> uh, okay. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland <laughs> Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. 
I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. <laughs> I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. <laughs> Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Yay, drone date. So we got on Brooke's good side after all. Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know, I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end, for Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale brain. <laughs> I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, no. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, so uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has those. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Huh? I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. I would pay money. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. <laughs> Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Luke. Hmm. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. Okay, um... 